एवरेजेस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अ टॉपिक प्लीज नोट इट डाउन नोट डाउन सम फॉर्मूलाज काइंडली नोट डाउन द फॉर्मूला इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला वट इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट एन नेचुरल नंबर इज एन प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई टू एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट एन इवेंट नंबर इज एन प्लस वन एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट एन ऑड नंबर इज एन ओनली फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज द क्वेश्चन केम लाइक वट इज द एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन ऑड नंबर द आंसर इज फिफ्टीन इट सेल्फ इन स्कूल यू लर्न वन कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड एज एवरेज इन नंबर विच आर इन सीरीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज सम नंबर आर इन अरिजमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सपोज सम नंबर आर इन अरिजमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन वॉट विल बी द एवरेज द एवरेज इज ऑलवेज मिडिल वैल्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट इज अरिजमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन दट मीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू नंबर विल बी सेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल दीज नंबर आर इन अरिजमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन बिकॉज इन डिफरेंस इज ट्रू ओनली सो वॉट विल बी द एवरेज मिडिल वैल्यू वॉट विल बी द एवरेज मिडिल वैल्यू नाउ सपोज द नंबर वुड हैव बीन टू फोर सिक्स एट सो इन दिस केस वॉट विल बी द एवरेज आंसर विल बी फाइव वाई बिकॉज मिडिल वैल्यू इज फाइव वॉट विल बी द एवरेज वेरी गुड फोर्टीन बिकॉज एवरेज विल बी मिडिल वैल्यू सो नाउ So suppose I am telling you that uh, there is a one series, and sum of series is given, and that series is in arithmetic progression. Can you find all the values? Yes, definitely we can find because from the sum we can find the average that will give us middle value, and from middle value we can write both the sides. We'll see this using some examples. so first let us solve one simple problem this problem came in the 2012 for one mark first of all nowhere it is written that this question is uh, this series is in ap so you cannot apply that logic which we have just uh, learned so we have to assume five different numbers for example uh, a b c d e If the average is twelve, what will be the addition of five? Twelve into five, that is sixty. Now the question says that the largest possible value among the numbers, largest possible value. So many people will give logic that uh, we can assume these four to be zero and e will be sixty. that that therefore the largest possible value will be 60 no we cannot assume zero why because in the question it is written natural number what natural number so in natural number you know that zero will not come so now what are the option you can assume 1 1 1 1 and this number to be 54 sorry i am sorry 56 now again this logic also wrong why because of this word different that means all the numbers should be different so if you have assumed this to be 1 this should be 2 3 4 then what will be the remaining 50 because 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10 so 60 minus 10 only 50 is remaining so largest possible value among the number is 50 You got the logic now. So words are words are also uh, playing important role. Different natural number. Suppose suppose I I'll change this question little bit. Instead of natural, I'll write whole. So what will be the answer? Instead of natural, I'm writing whole. So what will be the answer? Absolutely correct. Fifty-four will be the answer because then we can add zero, zero, one, two, three. So largest possible value is fifty-four in this case. Everybody clear? 
सो प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी सॉल्व बाई टू वेज दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी सॉल्व बाई टू वेज वन वे इज दैट अप्लाइंग द फॉर्मुला ऑफ एपी वाई एपी दिस नंबर द सीरीज इज इन एपी मल्टीपल ऑफ टेंस फ्रॉम टू टू वन नाइनटी एट सो वॉट आर द नंबर्स टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी नाइनटी टिल वन नाइन वन नाइनटी ओके सो टू फाइंड द एवरेज ऑफ दैट यू इट इज वेरी इजी फर्स्ट नंबर प्लस लास्ट नंबर डिवाइड बाय टू फर्स्ट नंबर प्लस लास्ट नंबर डिवाइड बाय टू विल गिव यू द एवरेज दिस इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली इन केस ऑफ एपी प्लीज नोट इट डाउन दिस इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली इन केस ऑफ एपी द फॉर्मुला इज फर्स्ट टर्म प्लस लास्ट टर्म डिवाइड बाय टू सो योर आंसर विल बी हंड्रेड योर आंसर विल बी हंड्रेड और ऑल्सो द सेकेंड वे टू फाइंड द मिडिल वैल्यू सिंस ऑल आर इन एपी ट्वेंटी टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी हंड्रेड वन नाइंटी so this 100 is in between nine numbers here nine numbers here that means the average is middle value which is 100 done clear now i'll solve in a consecutive sequence of 12 consecutive odd numbers 12 consecutive odd numbers means the uh, numbers are in ap because consecutive odd numbers will be in ap So let me write the num twelve uh, numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These are the twelve blanks I have written. Now, what is the first statement? The sum of first five numbers is four twenty-five. First five is four twenty-five. This me mean, that means the addition of these five numbers are four twenty-five. So what is the average? 425 divided by 5. So this is 85. How we got is 85? If the sum is 425, what will be average? 425 divided by 5, which is which will be the middle value. You got 85 over here. Now can you write the numbers? 85, 87, 89, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Seven, ninety-nine, hundred and one, hundred and three. Now what they want? Sum of last five numbers. So what is sum? You can add these, or you can multiply the average by five, which will be four ninety-five. Adding also very easy. Hundred and three, ninety-seven, two hundred. One not one ninety nine two hundred and then ninety five. Is it clear to everybody? The sum of eight consecutive odd numbers is six fifty six. The average of four consecutive even numbers. That means there are two series. Okay. So first series, let me write down. This is eight consecutive odd numbers, and uh, the uh, sum sum is six fifty six. so what will be average 82 which is middle value 82 if you got 82 now can you fill the data so if it is 82 this will be 81 79 77 75 no need to fill that side because from the first series they want smallest number from the first series they want smallest number now second series directly average is given in the second series directly average is given which is middle value 87 so from the second series what they want second largest so 87 it will be 88 90 so now they want answer what is the answer sum of the smallest number and the second largest many time i have seen the people forget this word uh, they don't uh, take this uh, 
But I don't read this word at all. Second, second largest means 88. And many times I have seen people will take this as second largest. Wrong. This is largest. This is second largest. So 88 plus 75. The answer will be 163. Yeah, I told na. Many time people will not read at all. Second largest. So please be careful. Next problem is uh, very simple. Uh, it is not a numerical problem. It's, it's the problem based on properties. This question came in 2012 for two marks. Uh, the question was simple. These four statement and uh, we you have to answer which all statement are correct. So the first statement is adding seven to each entry in la, a list adds seven to mean of the list. Yes. Suppose there is a series uh, and uh, you have average of that series. So if you are increasing the all the numbers by same number, suppose x, average will also increase by x. So the first thing is correct. But this thing is not true for standard deviation. So therefore, q is not right. Similarly, r they have doubled. Every number, so average will also double. It is right, absolutely right. Suppose you are multiplying the number, all the numbers with x, average will also gets multiplied with x. So r is also correct, and this is not true in case of standard deviation. So p and r is the correct option. This is your right answer, correct answer.